Hallo zusammen. Hallo. Ah, sehr gut, alles klar, es funktioniert. Hallo zusammen da draußen. Ähm, ich würde sagen, äh, jetzt warten wir erst noch mal kurz zusammen, bis wir ein bisschen mehr werden. Ähm, und damit auf jeden Fall äh, keiner was verpasst. Ich hoffe, ihr versteht mich ganz gut ähm, vom Ton her und seht mich ganz gut. Ähm, ansonsten gebt einfach mal kurz Bescheid oder ähm, gebt mal einen kurzen Daumen hoch, äh, falls ihr mich gut versteht. Let me know if you can hear me, guys, please. <lacht> okay, genau. Jetzt warten wir einfach noch mal ein bisschen zusammen. Sehr schön. So. Ihr könnt mich gut hören da draußen. Funst, sehr gut. Dankeschön. <lacht> also gut, dann äh, ich, jetzt sind wir schon mal ein paar Leute, dann fange ich mal an. <lacht> ähm, also erstmal hallo, liebe Rocker da draußen. Ähm, ich hoffe, es geht euch gut. Ich bin die Marine Hirschbichler von Rockantenne. Ähm, und ich würde sagen, gleich wird's ernst. Äh, gleich starten wir unser Instagram Live. Naja, das haben wir eigentlich gerade schon gestartet. Aber gleich quatschen wir mit Amy Lee von Evanescence. Ähm, da freue ich mich schon richtig drauf. Äh, Evanescence, die wären ja jetzt im Frühling ähm, bei uns gewesen ähm, und hätten durch Europa getourt mit Within Temptation gemeinsam. Ähm, muss ja dann wegen äh, Corona, wegen der ganzen Krise leider äh, verschoben werden. Das findet jetzt im September statt. Aber äh, jetzt wollen wir einfach mal ein bisschen äh, checken, wie es denn Amy Lee und Co. so geht, ähm, wie es ausschaut mit neuer Musik. Mhm, weil äh, sie meinten ja eigentlich, es soll äh, neue Musik kommen wenn sie äh, jetzt schon nicht touren können. Da werden wir gleich dazu quatschen. Äh, ihr könnt euch auch gerne Fragen überlegen, ähm, die ihr dann am Ende des Interviews an Amy Lee stellen könnt. Ähm, also wie gesagt, ich gebe euch dann einfach Bescheid, wenn es soweit ist und dann könnt ihr eure Fragen einfach da ähm, reinstellen. Und äh, bitte nicht traurig sein, wenn wir nicht alle Fragen beantworten können. Aber wir geben uns ganz, ganz, ganz viel Mühe auf jeden Fall. Genau. Dann ähm, schauen wir jetzt erstmal, ähm, ob Emily vielleicht sogar schon da ist und ob wir schon starten können. Mal schauen, einen Moment. Noch nicht, aber wir können mal suchen. Mhm. Mhm. Noch ist sie nicht da. So. Aber dann warten wir erstmal gemeinsam. Und äh, ihr könnt mir ja so inzwischen mal erzählen, ähm, so also bis äh, Emily da ist, äh, könnt ihr mir ja mal irgendwie verraten, wie es euch denn jetzt so geht. Jetzt haben wir ja die ersten Lockerungen auch in Deutschland. Ähm, maybe also in English. Hello guys. <lacht> Hello international rocker friends. Um, just, yeah, let me know uh, what you were up to, how you're dealing with the whole Corona crisis. Just uh, drop it in the comments. And let's wait together until Emily is here. <laughs> okay, we got someone from Italy. Hello there. Israel. Wow. Hello. Just a few more minutes. We're counting the countdown. <laughs> Brazil. Hello. Yes, English. Dark. Prinzip, I guess. Yeah, we're definitely doing the, the interview in English, so don't worry about it. That was just a quick uh, introduction. Oh, hey, Emily's here. Hello there. <laughs> All right. Um, let's just see if we can send her an invite. Great. Mm -hmm. No. Maybe, Amy, if you can hear that, maybe um, can you send a request to join the chat? That would be amazing, please. Because I don't have it in here so far. Mm -hmm. Working on it. Okay, <laughs> cool. Thank you. <laughs> Evanescence Will says, we're so happy of this live interview. Oh, thank you. Thank you, guys. We're really international here. So thank you guys for joining in, for, for tuning in. It's really excited. 
Yeah, I know. In Instagram is a is a weird uh, phenomenon. Really, it is. It re it is. Have you done the Instagram live? It is a bit. It's, yeah, it's funny. But I really like this technique um, now during uh, quarantine, and you know everybody's isolated. I think it's a really cool thing to do that. Mexico is here as well. Portugal, wow! You guys are from all over. Thank you for for tuning in. As I've mentioned before, um, you can also think about um, your own questions um, that you have for Amy um, and then at the end of the interview you can just uh, type it in in the comments and then uh, we try to answer as many as possible. <laughs> All right, um, but I'll, I'll let you know um, when the time is for that. All right. Mm -hmm. Nope. Let's see if we can... Is there? I don't have an invitation yet, and I cannot invite. Sorry, guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. Let's see if that works. We're connecting. From New York. There you go. Oh, Amy Lee cannot participate. Why not? One more time. Cannot participate? Hmm. One second. Why can Amy Lee not participate? Sorry, guys. It's only taking a sec. I got it right here. Okay, waiting for Amy Lee. No, don't cry. Please don't cry. <laughs> oh, I ah! hear something. Hello. <laughs> Dear God. Why did they make it so hard in the future? I don't know. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Emily from Hi. Evanescence, everyone. <laughs> how are you? I'm fine. How are you? Good. Nice to finally talk to you. Thanks for waiting. Yeah. No, thank you so much for tuning in. Like, wow, it's a real pleasure, really. Thanks. Same here. <laughs> how are you um, guys over there in Germany? Um, we're quite, quite okay. We have some, um, you know, we're slowly but surely like allowed to go out again, <laughs> go yeah. out into the world. How yeah. are you? Where are you at the moment? I'm good. I live in Nashville now. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm here at my house. This is my home studio. Um, and I really haven't left. Um, we're, we're really still kind of in the thick of it here. So um, we're, we're being safe and, and staying home and it's kind of hard to do. But I mean, you know, I'm grateful for our health um and it's not the worst thing to be with your family so I'm trying to make yeah. it yeah yeah just enjoying the time as well right yeah <laughs> kind of okay. i mean yeah <laughs> i've had about enough but uh, i'll wait as long as i have to, <laughs> to right I, I feel like it's yeah. the only thing that really helps right <laughs> until we have like vaccines and stuff um but uh, you're pretty busy in your isolation as well <laughs> i have been i really have been doing a lot There's of no like... escape i don't have any excuse anymore <laughs> So when they give me like a million different things to do, I'm like, damn it, I can't say I'm too busy playing shows because <laughs> we're not. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately not. Um, unfortunately, you had to postpone your European tour um, mm -hmm. with Within Temptation. Um, you would have been here in April. Um, and um, actually, one of the dates would have been on my birthday, too. It would have been a birthday oh, party. <laughs> dang. Um, sorry for that. Um, we <laughs> no will worries. be back out there eventually. It's going to happen. Uh, but yeah. yeah, it was pretty, pretty disappointing and just kind of shocking when it all went down. I mean, for a million reasons, but um, you got to learn how to just look at the situation and go, okay, this is what we're in. Let's the quicker we accept it and start trying to find the way to make the best of it, the better. Um, right. So we just really started shifting ourselves toward 
the creativity that we still had on the table for making this album. Um, right. This is still our release year. This is still a year for us and, and making music and putting out music and we can still be with our fans that way. So um, we just started doing that more. Yeah, I think it's a really cool alternative, you know, to connect with your fans uh, in this way. Um, and you already mentioned um, uh, it's time for new music, you know, um, so now uh, Wasted On You is out. I think it's, mm. it's almost a month already. You released it in April. Um, and yeah. what does this song mean to you? Well, it's weird because I wrote it before this whole lockdown happened. Um, but the lyrics sort of came to life. Um, mm. It's weird when that happens. Things things definitely can take on new meanings over time. Um, mm -hmm. I, I definitely have feelings and thoughts and uh, life experiences that I relate to bring me to life now that didn't exist when and we were writing the song. Um, so it's just weird for it to happen so quickly. Um, I We were going into the studio. We were planning to go into the studio for recording the first batch of songs for the album uh, in either the end of January or the beginning of February. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were just getting those songs together and I was sort of procrastinating, finishing lyrics on one of them that I was stuck on. Uh, and when I do that, it usually, I have to be creative in other ways. Um, sometimes mm -hmm. it's painting, sometimes it's like binge cooking. Uh, and binge cooking? Yes, I just like <laughs> make bread, make dumplings from scratch, like find out, just search the internet until I find some crazy, just distractions. But at the same time, it's like, I still feel like I'm being productive, so I'm not going insane inside because I'm stuck on a song. Um, and sometimes it's making a song that I'm not supposed to make. Um, and that that's how Wasted On You got started um, because it was like right before New Year's and I was kind of trying hard to finish something and banging my head up against the wall and just started writing something else. Um, so it, it, it came from just me wanting it. And um, I was sort of in my own frustrated isolation, but it was self-imposed at the time just in a way um, about writing and my own, you know, vicious cycles and all that stuff. So uh, now what it means to me is where we're all at, you know? Um, yeah. And uh, just that, that feeling, that feeling <laughs> that we're all having of um, being stuck, you know, wow. and wanting a way out of this situation. And um, I definitely have hope for the future and I hope that comes through in the song. I know we'll get through this, um, but it's not, it's not, and hasn't been easy. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, got to do the hard work to get out of it. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, the song really helps. And, and also, you know, you released the, um, the music video for it that you shoot it at your home. Mm -hmm. um, so how was that for you? I mean, it was, isn't it like kind of weird usually like shooting like a music video with, I don't know, a, a big team and stuff. And now you're just, doing it at home yeah it was totally different in every way um but I was really really we all felt really satisfied and happy when we first saw just the first edit back um from Paul because um it really did make us feel closer together when we couldn't be together and mm -hmm. it really did express you know what we're feeling but also just us in our real lives um we're entering a time like where everyone has been doing things in a new way and showing a lot more, I think of their personal lives. A lot of people that don't normally do that um, from TV show hosts to news reporters to everything else, you know, um, people that are, are at home and you're seeing their families, their sons running the camera or whatever it is. Um, so it's cool to be part of that. It's definitely different for me. Um, I keep my life pretty private um mm -hmm. and showing the inside of my home for for a few of us that was, that was a hard decision <laughs> i know okay. that sounds weird we're just no. not you know i don't know that's just kind of how we are it's it's one yeah. of those things to have your safe place but we wanted to give and we wanted to receive and feel that connection to other people in the world because we really are all going through the same thing right mm -hmm. now um so it felt it felt really good to do something that we could do um, and have that be new for us, you know, have that be different for us to not be acting, to not have all our makeup on, um, to just um, be our real selves in our element and to learn, you know, a little bit how to be more visual artists because we all really 
learned and pushed it to make it beautiful and artistic and, and capture things that were, you know, pretty to look at and kind of, I don't know, just interesting. So we, we really enjoyed that project. It was cool to have something like that to do. I think it turned out really great. And, you know, it, yeah, kind of like it gives the, the fans and everyone a bit more of an, of an insight, you know, even if it's maybe hard um, to let someone in at your home. <laughs> it feels better now because nobody's been here for so long. It's kind of like, please come <laughs> to my home. <laughs> Um, and you also asked your fans to participate. So yeah. That is really cool. How is that going? Um, so you asked it's your funny. fans to, to yeah. join, to send in some videos? Yeah. Well, honestly, we had that idea. Mm -hmm. And then our, we have such amazing fans. Just started putting up, you know, exactly what I was about to ask them to do already. So, like, the Italian fans did this beautiful, like, video, kind of, like, mirroring the shots And then there's a worldwide one that was really, really beautiful. And I think there have been more. Um, but I was like, man, you always steal my ideas before I get a chance to put it all together and put it out there. <laughs> but I think it's cool because what we're now going to do is put together a big, beautiful kind of like everybody together in their one that is, yeah, the fans doing that. Since we are all doing the same thing with the same quality camera, so, I mean, basically, and sort of doing those things it's cool to be able to um connect ourselves by putting ourselves in that place and showing what we're all doing from home um and it doesn't have to be the same thing it's kind of fun if it's a little bit different like what are you doing in quarantine uh so i'm looking forward to putting that together it's been fun already we joined tiktok which is weird but yeah. not by like normal zone uh and it's fun like, though <laughs> gonna do that. it is kind of fun i just honestly just watching people but it, it takes no attention span so that's nice too <laughs> yeah, I think it's a pretty great idea. Um, I cannot wait, you know, for the fan meeting then as well. Um, and then also, um, so since you, well, you're not on tour, um, and you said um, you're working on new music. Um, how is the record going? How how far are you guys? It's good. Um, we're lucky that we went in the studio when we did uh, because we did get uh, the first batch. But I mean, it's still less than half the record that we have finished and recorded. Mm -hmm. um, we have a nice bank of songs um, like of writing done, um, but they are um, all, almost all of them still need lyrics and um, mm -hmm. arrangement and finishing. There's still a lot to do and we might still write from scratch a couple more songs. Um, it's going well, it's a little bit of everything. It's not all like one thing. We're really um, looking forward to the part where we can get back together again because on this first, first batch of songs that we did, Uh, the real magic happened when we got together in the room with Nick mm -hmm. Graspi Linux, our producer, uh, and just stood in a circle with our instruments and arranged the songs for real and decided on tempos and all that stuff that goes into that moment. Um, so we're looking forward to that moment and aren't exactly sure when it's going to be, but we're starting to talk about how, how we can get together um, mm -hmm. because that's going to be, that's going to be, I think, key for this if, if it's in any way possible for us to do it but it's going to be different it's going to be a story yeah, yeah. <laughs> are you working with uh, video uh, phone calls now or uh, skype or anything oh yeah yeah totally yeah, yeah. okay several but, of those yeah. yeah but i bet that is like really difficult as well like even if you're just like you know delays and stuff so it's totally. like mm. yeah it's not so bad <laughs> well we're not like we haven't strapped on our instruments and done a zoom like i think mm. that would be really difficult just just to hear everyone mm -hmm. um what we do is more like our normal process which is more like somebody has an idea and sends it to a you know file sharing folder and then we all listen to it and go oh cool but what about if it went da -da 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 -da, and like oh cool hey check out this melody i wrote maybe we should change it like this mm -hmm. and we just sort of do a little bit of ping ponging like that so we're kind of doing that cool and it's called uh, the bitter truth uh, your next album i'm mm -hmm. really excited cannot wait for that <laughs> thank you um, you released um, Wasted on You already. Um, can maybe fans expect the, the, the album to go into that direction? Or is it like more a mix of, yeah, I don't know, some I completely different the, stuff? I, there is some completely different stuff. I mean, then that song. I, one of the things that we were excited about when we went in uh, with the songs that we have done was that each one was different from the other. Um, mm -hmm. They aren't all like, okay, this is the bulk. This is the vibe of the album. They have there's things that connect them obviously like it's us but mm. um they're all showing different sides um they're all showing different emotions and um they're all different it's cool 
I don't know. That's kind of all I can say right now. I'd like to make it nice and varied. It's been a long time since we've released a full original album, and I want to be able to kind of do a little bit of everything that we do. Why did it take you like a while for that new original album? Um, I don't know. Part of it's just you got to follow your heart. Mm -hmm. um, the beginning of that time, we released an album in 2011. Yeah. We went on tour for a year and a half. And then we were all needing uh, some time to like get into the next space. I think me especially, uh, mm -hmm. I really wanted to focus on family. I had a child mm -hmm. and became a mom. Um, and I also wanted to go down some different roads creatively. So made a kid's album, did some score stuff. Yeah. You know? And then, and then once we got back together and uh, reformed with Jen um, in, in 2015, yeah. um, we started playing shows and it felt really good just to get back and start playing shows again. And I think that's really important, like getting back out there and finding out who we are again and who we are now. Uh, we had to spend some time doing that before it was time to just get into the studio and make a new album. Mm -hmm. um, so our core still exists from a, a starting point of our older material you know what I mean like we came yeah. from there went through lived through improved upon live you know all that stuff it grew um from that place and now we can bloom into the next thing a little bit with that still in our heart you know yeah it sounds really cool and also I had like the feeling that it's like yeah like you said just the kind of like still evanescence back to the roots but also like kind of like newish newish yeah. stuff so it's, it's yeah. really cool to see that evolve basically um now you said um you you know you did um, many different projects and all that stuff um what are your major influence, uh, influences right now musically for that album like i don't know any any artists that you've been listening to non-stop lately i've been listening to but it won't be like oh so that's what it's gonna sound like because okay <laughs> it's it's weird the the things you pick up on that end up inspiring you It could be as simple as the way a structure is put together or just like the, ooh, I like the way that those melody choices are. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, so I I really love the Billie Eilish album. But we oh, yeah. all It's a good did. one. <laughs> it's really good. It's a really good album. Like, it's not like it's just one song. And, and it's really unusual. And it doesn't sound like music that um, I've ever heard, really, that's mainstream accepted. Mm -hmm. It sounds like something that I would enjoy that no one else would like. And I think that's <laughs> a big part of the appeal for everybody is like, this is so fresh and beautiful because it's really real. It feels real. And um, the story about it and it being made, you know, from home, brother and sister that I love all of it. I think it's yeah. such a cool, real, honest, genuine piece of work. I, I think I would say that's probably my number one new thing that's come out um, mm -hmm. of the last year or so. Um, trying to think of what else I like stuff that doesn't sound like us so I there's this I I don't like country like historically that's the one genre I'm like I can't get into but though you're living in Nashville <laughs> right well country's country's changing like I I've heard some things that are sort of like this crossover it really sounds like pop to me mm -hmm. um, and oh my god I'm gonna blank out on her name this is the worst Oh, no, what's that's cool. like... Somebody in the chat, what's the awesome chick with the long brown hair with a beautiful neon moon cover with the... Casey Musgraves. Okay. <laughs> um, I really like that whole album, too. It's beautiful. Um, makes me feel, like, good. And <laughs> also feels honest. I, I think the biggest thing that inspires me in music is when I hear something coming from somebody that really feels like they went through it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I totally get that. So, but but still, um, guys out there, just to to make that clear for everyone, um, the next uh, Evanescence album is not going to be a country album. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't think there's any confusion with that. That's <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, are there any collaborations that you're maybe looking forward to or that you had in mind? I mean, you recently also did a video with Lindsay Sterling, right? That was cool. Um, yeah. I I don't. We don't have any collaborations planned for the album right mm -hmm. now. It's more about us, like just doing us um but that doesn't mean something couldn't happen i i've this this time has really created a a need and a platform for collaboration people wanting to connect with each other so mm -hmm. um getting together with um lindsay to do her beautiful version of wasted on you and then also 
uh, with Lizzie Hale to make a little quarantine version of Break In, which, which I did do that. I collaborated with Lizzie Hale. That's coming out later this year um, in a couple months for that song, finally, after we did it live a million years ago and um, always wanted yeah. to do it in the studio. So, um, yeah. Do you know I when know. exactly? Sorry. Yeah, August. She said August. Okay. It's coming out on their stuff. So, okay. Um, yeah. Look That's for right. it. Good. It's really cool. Do you have any uh, release date set? Anything for your record as well? The Bit of Truth? No. Um, no. Just because we don't quite have the plan in place yet for getting together. And I, I would hate yeah. to. This is, this is also true. I would hate to. Um, put that we're releasing very differently this time by by doing the songs one at a time at least for the beginning and i wouldn't want to put an end date on it that says okay this is when we have to be done whether or not it's done whether or not it's good enough whether or not we feel like we're finished mm -hmm. um that would put weird unnecessary pressure so yeah. i think we need to wait to actually say okay this is the date when you're going to get the whole thing like the rest of the songs until we've got it in the bank kind of you know yeah yeah so um We'll, we'll get there. But for now, just keep expecting more music because we've got more stuff to release and we'll be doing that soon. And I'm really excited for the next song. Okay, cool. Um, when about? <laughs> when can we expect the next song then? A matter of weeks. A matter of weeks. All right. <laughs> uh, we put on the countdown. <laughs> okay. Cool. Um, now, since you had to postpone your tour um, from April to September, a Euro European co-headlining tour with, uh, with Intemptation, You also got a bit like more time for the production or anything. Do you, I don't know, reworking on production things as well or? We had just finished a really cool, beautiful new production for that tour. So there's okay. nothing else that we need to do with that. It's ready and it's beautiful. Okay. Um, very excited to go on that tour and be able to utilize all that. Um, it'll feel really good when we do get back on tour again after having to wait. Um, so yeah, yeah no. We're not going to do more. We already did a really cool production overall. So yeah, I, it. <laughs> I cannot wait for that. Like seriously. <laughs> um, then also, it's a great um, combination, you know, with within Temptation um, on stage. But it's a co-headline tour. How do yeah. you decide which like which band gets the latest spot, or who decides? Oh, that? It's just a, a a crazy dire game of poker. Oh really? <laughs> no. no, we just. <laughs> We just kind of go through like which dates we we sort of split them in half okay. and uh, kind of That's barter fair. back and forth about who wants what and you know who's bigger in which town and that kind of thing like just kind of mm -hmm. decide which you know if it's your home country you're gonna headline there so um that kind of stuff um okay. yeah so it's it's half and half a poker yeah. thing would be fun though as well <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it would. laughs> with a live stream from doing that <laughs> yeah <laughs> maybe next time um then also um through over the last year you also had like some um difficulties with your gear um you know there was not fest there was um uh, voronesh i think um where there was a lot of like gear just like broken and and uh, stuff it was it was a crazy time how you did know, you it's like the world deal... just slowly stopping us, trying to stop us they will not stop us right um, how did you yeah. deal with that because that is really not easy i think mentally when you're like really just want to go on stage you just have to take each step each situation one at a time and go okay here's our situation how do we make the best of this and part of that comes from having an awesome band who wants to work and wants to play um and also it comes from having an incredible crew that is the same way our crew is fantastic they are our family um they thought of weird crazy outside the box ways to put on that show in Russia when we had nothing. We had no mics, we had no guitars, we had no stage production, we had nothing and just found a hall and did it. I mean, we played the place. We just played like a, an acoustic set that we like created that day. That took more than just the band learning a whole set of music on acoustics. It also took the crew throwing something together from stuff they could find at the hardware store and like the music store and <laughs> It was right. wild. So, and you know what? We'll never forget that performance. Um, yeah. I was so proud of the way that that turned out, given the circumstances. I think those are the times you really get a chance um, to shine because you have, to, if you're going to rise to that challenge, you have to show what you really got. Okay. There's no lights. There's no nothing. Like, this is what we can do. And I, you just have to put yourself to the test like that sometimes. And when you come out on the other side, 
you just feel we all just gave each other a big hug. Aww. Feels really good. Yeah, it's very cool, and it's also like really unique. I think people won't forget that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I think but I think in this situation, it's kind of the same thing. Like, it's harder to do what we need to do now, um, but I hope that um, the more that all of us continue to find a way to press forward in a new way that spreads hope um, for other people in their own lives that we can mm. move forward and we can find a way we just have to we just have to rise up and try you know um, so that's what we're gonna do that's what we're doing right now that's very inspiring very motivating <laughs> good thank you some days I struggle with motivation <laughs> <laughs> no I think I think you're very motivating <laughs> um, then also you know that was um that was acoustic do you some do you think um you're gonna continue with only a, an acoustic run or anything or like maybe uh, acoustic sessions even more now on instagram it's hard or to think about to that when we haven't gotten a chance to play these new songs in their full form mm. yet i okay. think the first thing that needs to happen is just get rocking you know okay. um but i it's always fun to think of a new way once once this stuff starts to be like okay let's break it up let's do something different show another side of it yeah mm. we could <laughs> I, don't I think more. I have another live thing. I need to tell you this, but I feel like at noon I was supposed to do something with somebody else, and I have to hop at my right three minutes ago. Oh, three minutes ago? Okay. So. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's, well, let's. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Then, well, uh, thank you so much uh, for thank taking you. time, Emily. It was a real pleasure, and thank we cannot you. wait to see you rocking our stages again. Yeah. Take care and tell everybody we say hi. <laughs> okay, I will. You stay well, okay? Thank you so much. See you okay. soon. Thank bye. you. Real pleasure. Bye-bye. <laughs> Let's see if I turn this off. I think I can... Uh, oh, yeah. All right. So, thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, that was our Instagram uh, live interview with Amy Lee. It was a real pleasure. I hope you enjoyed it, too. I'm really sorry uh, we didn't have time to uh, take a look at your questions uh really sorry um but as you've heard um amy had to uh, get to another instagram live very busy <laughs> um anyway um thank you so much for tuning in um yeah and then also i switched to german now so thank you guys <laughs> bye bye um, ja, hier nochmal auf Deutsch. Das war unser Instagram Live Interview mit Emily von Evanescence. Ähm, ich hoffe, es hat euch allen gefallen. Sorry, dass wir jetzt zum Schluss nicht mehr Zeit hatten, um eure Instagram Fragen hier drinnen nochmal zu äh, beantworten. Aber ich hoffe, wir haben so relativ viel Neues erfahren über das neue Album, ähm, über das neue Video äh, Where Is It On You und natürlich auch, äh, wenn sie dann zurückkommen hier live ähm, im September. Genau. Ansonsten ähm, mehr Infos zur verschobenen Tour äh, von Evanescence und Within Temptation gibt es natürlich auch auf unserer Homepage auf rockantenne.de. Also unbedingt mal reinklicken und ähm, dann freuen wir uns schon, wenn Sie im September wieder unsere Bühnen rocken. Ähm, das Instagram Live Interview, <lacht> das Instagram Live Interview äh, stellen wir natürlich auch noch für euch äh, auf unseren Account und genau, dann könnt ihr es euch später vielleicht auch nochmal angucken oder wenn ihr es teilen wollt mit euren Freunden dann ähm, nur zu, teilt es. Dann sage ich vielen, vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen und ähm, ja, bleibt gesund, passt auf euch auf und äh, schaut jetzt mal ab. <lacht> Schönen Abend noch, rock on, ciao. So, dann muss man das aber auch mal ausschalten. So. Video wirklich beenden, jetzt beenden.